Welcome back to the channel. It's your man Rich Too Bad coming with you today with another mod. Um, if you watched my previous video, wasn't able to do the mod because the color that they sent me from EasyLip wasn't the color that I thought it would be. Um, so now I got the right color, which is black. Um, this should make the car pop. I guess my accent probably is going to be black even though I got an all white car. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this installed. I'm going to go ahead and prep the car up. Uh, with rubber alcohol get it cleared and then try to do this installation and we'll see how it comes out stay tuned all right guys so as you can see i got it already uh attached to the bottom of the bumper right now so now i'm just going to take my time and just make sure it um, firmly sticks to the bottom of the car and just slowly uh take this red tape off as i get the 3m on the sticky part to here um if you decide to get something like this, um, I would try to make sure you have a second person with you just to make sure. But like I said, I'm doing this by myself, so I'm just gonna take my time and um, not really gonna film the whole, um, I'll just film the whole process so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, but it's not really that hard. It's really easy to do. Just take your time and, you know, kind of go to the curb of your car and just make sure it's sticky as properly. Then you may have to go and then make your adjustments a little bit as you go along. So, like I said, it's my first time doing this. And I'm basically just going by the curb of the car. But as you can see, it is not sticky. There we go. That's probably where it needs to be more pulled up. Like I said, you can leave it coiled up and just take it piece by piece. I just have to take the whole thing out just to make sure it fits. So that's up to you guys. There's no right or wrong. And you can also use a heat gun to kind of use this uh, to stretch out the uh, rubber a little bit better. <clears throat> And if you mess up, you can always take it back off. It's not hard to take off, so I always need to make the right adjustments.
So guys, I got it on. It looks very good. Nice and flush. It looks very even with the uh, the car as well, as you can see. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of it real quick just to show you guys zoom in just a little bit. Excuse the front end because the car is dirty. It hasn't been washed. I washed it Wednesday and it's Saturday and it's already dirty again. So and plus the pollen here in Georgia is off the chain right now. So but I'm sure that's anywhere in the South right now. So this is the finished product. So if you have those yellow bumper guards on your car and you want to take them off, and here's the solution. Other than getting your car wrapped in the front, maybe on the front bumper, but hey, here's your solution. 30 bucks on Amazon. You can't beat it. So that's gonna be a wrap on this mod, guys. Uh, but man, that thing came out a whole lot better than I thought it would. But it is beautiful right now. So it does make that front end pop just a little bit better. So, but um, if you enjoy the channel, make sure you comment, hit that thumbs button, subscribe to the channel. Let me, let me know what you guys think about this mod. Was it a good mod? Was it a bad mod? Do you think I should wrap the car? Give me your thoughts on what you think I should have done with the mod. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. As I end it, I just want to say, keep God first, stay prayed up, stay blessed up, and until the next mod, I'll see y'all. Peace.